Welcome back to my morning report. Charles Prez on Tuesday, the 29th of March, with me, Richard Perry, market analyst and hand tech markets. Now, let's look at cable. And we've seen a pretty mixed outlook on cable in the last few weeks. Big, um, big moves up and down and uh, once again we've formed support at that 4050 level uh, which was that key reaction low from uh, mid-March and you sort of built higher yesterday that was on, on the weaker than expected uh, PCE data out from the states and sort of maintains this pretty choppy recent run um, that dollar strength of, of last week that pulled cable lower has now started to reverse a bit you've started to find a bit of uh, early um, initial weakness uh, on cable but that's just paired a bit of the losses um, and uh, it's not really um, doing a great deal for the chart now as I said in on the euro uh, chart analysis I think today's trading will be important obviously we've had a couple of days worth of, of public holidays have so reduced trading uh, reduced volumes um, on these all these charts so just getting the first uh, day out of the public holidays um, of the direction and, and how traders have come back uh, is very interesting and very important. Now we've seen that, as I said, that minor recovery in cable over that uh, holiday trading period hasn't yet been given back. Um, so that's a, a relatively supportive um, uh, outlook there for this chart. Um, you can see here that I've got the fib levels on it as well. Of that, uh, this is the fib retracements of that run higher. So that um, 76.4 became a, an element of, uh, of resistance that broke higher, bit of support. That is your that, that's your key support on the downside, I think, uh, near term. Uh, but also 50% at uh, 42.83. Now the uh, the reaction high was 42.80 um, yesterday, uh, and interestingly enough, 42.80 is also an, uh, exact exactly coinciding pretty much that high there as well so it is that these are levels that do come back to be retested um, and uh, are interesting turning points so 76.4 and 50 percent fib levels acting as uh, interesting um, consolidation points and turning levels so watch out for those I think on this chart now the uh, the hourly momentum is pretty pretty choppy isn't it pretty messy um, seems to be still trying to find its feet but uh, today's overnight uh, today's low 41.90 is your initial support that came in just above that 42.83 breakout high uh, but certainly there seems to be a support around sort of 42 sort of 41.60 to 41.85 area um, 41.90 so 30 pips or so worth of support there um, that we need to look out for uh, through this uh, through this sort of slightly correcting move but uh, at the moment it's consolidating around that 61.8 percent fib level 42 a 42 30 area and um, yeah it'd be interesting to see how this one moves but it's a little bit choppy still the outlook on cable and it's just difficult to really um, sort of take from um, the momentum indicator certainly on the daily chart you've got the RSI basically flat at around 50 MACD lines, flat at neutral. Stochastics haven't just turned up, so it's um, it's very very slightly near term positive, but I don't think you can really sort of hang too much on uh, on yesterday's candle. Uh, strong as it was, it was still a reduced uh, reduced trading day. Um, very 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 sort of uh, uh, low volumes, about half the trading volume of the of the normal. Uh, days there, so um, certainly yesterday's candle it, it is a positive impact on the chart but um, needs to be backed up by today's move. So I wish you good luck in your trading today and I will speak to you later, thank you.